NBC Sports, and the United States Golf Association proudly present the 123rd United States Women's Amateur Championship with uninterrupted coverage presented by Rolex. California by no means perfect. It just looks that way. Ice blue skies at early August. Summer vibes are nice in Los Angeles. Golfing hotbed in 2023. 52 days ago, the U.S. Open played just a few miles from here at LACC with Wyndham Clark winning. This week at fabled Bel Air, the USGA back in town with the U.S. Women's Amateur storied club that has been home to Hollywood stars. Another George C. Thomas design going back nearly 100 years, recently restored by Tom Doe. Fascinating layout highlighted by the famous swinging bridge at the par 3 10th. 156 competitors began. We're now down to 64 for match play in pursuit of a trophy won by the greats of the game like Babe Zaharias, Patty Berg, Louise Suggs, Joanne Carner, Lydia Ko, and Rose Zhang as well as two of our very own Kay Cockrell and the great Julie Inkster. So Keen wins that match two and one. She's one of the standout players. How about Latana Stone for par at 17 for the win over one of the higher ranked players in the field, Amari Avery of USC. Stone advancing with, meanwhile, Sarah Hasegawa. This for birdie on the first extra hole and needed it, gets it to extend the match against Rachel Heck. And Julie Heck with a chance to win it here at the 20th hole for par. Yeah, good stroke. Just come, just didn't play a little enough break, but uh, that was a good stroke. All right, uh, makes amends here. This for birdie on the 21st hole to win it. Yeah, you keep getting opportunities. You got to make a match, and there it is. So Rachel Heck out of Stanford has had a busy summer. Just came off of ROTC training almost three weeks in Alabama. Back to the golfing grind and loving it. So here's the match with a one seed Brianna Chacon that was Olivia Dawn from San Francisco she's headed to Princeton to play golf she loses there's Brianna Chacon 36 hole scoring record uh, in the metal play portion she survives in 19 holes meanwhile uh, this did not go very well for Lee Chin against Laney Fry that was her third shot of the 22nd hole Another match going extras. That led to a bogey. Fry made par. And so Fry from the University of Kentucky has advanced. And let's uh, join Steve Burkowski. Hello there, Rich. Andrea Lignell putt on the way at the 15th. The standout from Old Miss. Second in stroke play to get that two seed. And as we know, Julie, you switched to match play. And Charlotte Cantonis, the 16-year-old, with one of the big upsets here on day number one. Yeah, I always thought the first day was the hardest. Oh, a little right. I see it half a ball outside to the left. That was a good stroke, Julie, wasn't it? Yeah, great stroke. And she left herself in the perfect position, straight uphill. Left, uphill the whole way. Beautifully executed. Well played there. It's just inside the hole, just need a good start line. Yeah, no problem. You mentioned that her dad, Chris uh, Miller. Oh boy. Yeah, I was, I'm standing right behind her and she just pulled it. She was aimed in the center and the putt was breaking to the left. And this is kind of a prime example of what happens in match play. You know, it's so grueling, so tiring, just very easy to lose a little bit of focus. That's a disappointment. Taylor Riley to advance. Tough match. Takes advantage of that late mistake by Morgan Miller. And Taylor Riley is on to the round of 32. USGA. Lehigh three up. One for the last five. This is this is a really good par three. 
plays uphill by plus six. Is to win the match. Yeah. yeah. She. She's on a roll. Birdie three out of the last six holes. It's hard to keep up with that. She played beautifully. So Lauren Lee. Lee is for par. Who knows? This could win the hole. Okay. That's an amazing two putt from where she was down there. Oh boy. So the mental swings in Momentum this format. Change. I mean, and all it takes is a putt like that where, you know, you go from the, the hunted to the hunty. That'll do it. Just like that. Had to be thinking, I got a decent chance to stay alive. But instead, it is a three and two win for Kyra Lee. Back at 13, Gianna Clement, the 15-year-old, getting ready to go. Two up over Jensen Castle, who won this championship just a couple years ago at Westchester. And you talk about young, talented players, truly. Gianna Clement is fierce of a 15-year-old, as we have seen in quite some time. Castle still with a par putt remaining. Oh, yes, Gianna Clement. Three. Made it to the finals of the girls junior in 2022. Yeah, a par putt for Jensen Castle, three down. It's just a little lack of focus right there. Looking ahead instead of staying in the present. Burko, she's fresh off a big win in the junior ranks. Yeah, won the junior PGA championship last week, made it to the semifinals of the girls junior last month, and it's already a USGA champion this year, winning the uh, women's amateur four ball and trying to claw back this for birdie to win the hole. Clement still has a par putt. All right, looks like par is going to be conceded and Castle, the ultimate grinder when she won the U.S. Women's Amateur Championship in so the last few years. But it's run into a buzzsaw against Gianna Clement to close things out. And the 15-year-old with the par putt there at the 15th gets the job done. And we'll move on to the round of 32 tomorrow morning. She's been out of the rough. Yeah, the hard part here is that Bermuda going against the grain. And again, you can tell that she caught it a little bit thin. When you get a little nervous, you have a tendency to hit the ball just a little too hard. You Trust haven't me. seen him put two <laughs> footers. <Yeah. laughs> I don't think that was two feet. Beautiful chip there. He lives herself an uphill putt. She likes the line. Yeah. Turn for a home, not quite. It didn't. It just held the speed up and stayed high. That that putt might be outside of her opponents. <laughs> to win the match. Solid. And that was exemplary up and down right there. And probably her experience just was uh, was more of a factor in the end. I agree with that, Kay. You know, she seemed very calm. She didn't rush uh, when she missed, this, missed her shots. Over at 13, this is the 17-year-old, Lucy Yuan, to extend the match against Camille Boyd, the 20-year-old. Plays collegiately at Washington. And this one was all Camille Boyd, a 6-5 and five winner for the pride of Yorba Linda, Linda, California. So I was talking to her today on the range. She said she made seven birdies yesterday and shot even par. <laughs> 96 yards on the left side of the fairway. Great angle into this whole location. Very intimidating second shot. Smart one. And I've played with Malia a number of times, and when she's on, she's dangerous from this distance. <clears throat> right on line. Uh, 
Excellent. Very well played there. No, right all the way. Uh, that's what you got to love about match play. Even though you might be right in the middle of the fairway. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Five, shoemaker wow. five. Shoemaker an awful wins. way to lose. Awful way to lose. What do you think? Just, just maybe a rushed lack of compass, it. maybe a little anxiety. But, uh, and a Davis, 17 years of age, and Auburn commit, looking to go from west to east for her collegiate days, going up against the 21-year-old, 20-year-old, uh, excuse me, Amanda Sambach, standout for the University of Virginia Cavaliers. 14th, this Anna Davis, third shot. Not too bad. And, and I asked them about the growth of women's golf. They all point to the coverage. Golf Channel and NBC uh, have brought to uh, the college game. What a putt that is. Beautiful roll uh, that, that our network has brought to the college game in the last, what, what is it now, 10 to 15 years? And you've been. You know, um, especially in the college, you know, they get them in the gym, you know, working on speed training, strength training, endurance. We would have a bag of potato chips and a ho ho. And they'd send us on our way when we were playing. And playing against her as a teammate as we watched Davis looking to close things out. Uh, it, Rich, you nailed it. It put Roseang in this part of golf center stage. She came right out in New Jersey and won. Yeah, well, I, I think that that's what's remarkable she had the spotlight really of a world number one even though she was not sort of as a savior and nice job by Davis she had not earned that at the pro level but but still the expectation was there within an hour of turning professional she's 20 and she shoulders that enormous burden and what does she do she goes out and wins that tells you what she's all about a go for shot Gorgeous shot. Oh, beautiful shot. Mm. After that outstanding third shot. I guess that's outside the friendship circle yeah. right there. I would give that to you, Rich. Oh, and Timmy still has about a five footer remaining for her par. Chen currently two up in the match. I think that's going to be uh, a one up lead now. Yeah. Good, good. Calentini hanging in there. Yeah, a two on seven on 16th hole is usually going to get it done, isn't it? Yes, it is. Haven't seen too many of them. The easy, makeable birdie putt, but all she needs to do is two putt to win this match. She had that aggressive drive, took the chance off the tee shot, and it paid off. Two putts gets it done. Chen moves on to the round of 32. Two and one winner. Chat. I'm fortunate enough to practice out at Siebel Center at Stanford, and I see these girls out here. Oh, look oh, at this. Get in the hall. I see, I see them. Ooh, left to right breaking putt. Really good speed. Looks good. Oh, goodness. To conjure up something really magical here. This is something where you want to just choke up and try to chase it. You got a lot of open green in, in the front. Yeah, a little too much hook on that one as well. You're going to be in a, you know, chunking it. I try to square the blade up a little bit. She got really nice contact on that one. That's an amazing shot. How about this? Whoa. Getting better and better. Yeah, oh, what a great shot. Love to see that. 
a double breaker, initially right to left, and then flattening out and maybe trying to eke right. But like From you said, Kay, this goes back to front, so she is putting up the hill. She can go ahead yeah. and give it a little bit of a wrap. Yeah, it was really tap, trying to trap into the tap to right. Well done. It's what you need to do, Julie, when you're up in the match, hit fairways, hit greens, make your opponent do something to cut into your lead. And two consecutive years. Well, it's crazy what a team win like an ACC championship will do. Oh, like a putt like that. What it will do for your confidence just moving forward. I mean, you, you play for something bigger than yourself, and usually you end up finding your game. Rooting them on next week. <laughs> All right, gruel. Oh Ooh. boy. So you make a long one on the previous hole and then a hard edge on the following hole. Takes advantage. You can see what we're in store for, you know, through the, the week at number 16. spot as but she could do out there she wasn't even looking that way Amelia I, I, I really thought she might use that slope on the right side not bad but certainly not in Has not lost her turn. Caitlin Pierce, hard fought match, has taken out Savannah Gruel of Canada. One up. Survive and advance. She's on to the round of 32. Ben Trees, and we're seeing that at the juniors, the USAMs. These numbers keep Hello. growing exponentially over the years. Watching right now, control is going towards Casey. And and there's what? just, it just adds to her momentum. It adds to her confidence. And now you walk off purposeful. She birdied 16 yesterday in stroke play. So you got momentum and good vibes from 24 hours ago. 138 yards to cover the bunker going on the line of the flag stick. And that was a that was aggressive. Yeah. Should come back a little bit. Yeah, Here we go. Rolling back back down. Okay, it's going to be a beautiful oh. shot. Well, and, and and again, the players on the tee really can't see that they the the compression and the height to get this close. If she can strike it well, I think she likes it. Okay. And by the way, yeah, Burko wasn't lost on you. That little announcer trick, the youngster from Thailand, was for birdie. Okay. Good bounce back after uh, this. Wow. Two twos at 16. I haven't seen many of that. The hole is some ball there. Shot. 40 yards behind her opponent. 175 yards. Looking to hit this in the center of the green, which is very smart. Everything kind of feeds a little to the right. That was gorgeous. And Couldn't getting... draw that up any better with, a, with that club from 175. Oh, center of the yeah. cup. Casey Weidenfeld. If we thought she was bouncing off the green a couple holes ago. A look of determination.
No. Confidence. I like I like her getting right over this. Oh. Oh, just shoved it. Mm. Widenfeld five. The match is tied. But it's gonna run away from her. She's got a little bit of back spot, about ten feet past the hole, a little bit of a backstop. There we go. Great shot. That's a beautiful touch. Gorgeous touch. Especially in the moment. The speed up. I've seen a lot of putts kind of just die at the hole. Again, uh, misses right. And now chance for Casey Weidenfeld to put an end to it. There it is. Four down with five to play. Casey Weidenfeld got a little hope, then she got some breaks, and now she gets the win, and she moves on to the round of 32. Oh, hey.